Okay, so I've got a, a new substance graph. I've just opened it up in Substance Designer and I'm going to right click on the unsaved package and I want to link my unsaved package to my low poly object that I want to bake onto. And it's actually going to be the 3D scene that I need to click on there. And I'm going to pick my low poly object, which is going to be this Boulder 5. And then as it appears in the Explorer, I can just drag it and drop it into my 3D viewport there. And you can see my rock object. Now, if we go back up to the rock object in the Explorer and again, right click on it, I can get access to the bake model information. And from this window, I can add my baker, which in this case, because we want to transfer the texture from the high poly onto the low poly, we want this transfer texture from mesh in uh, baker option. And then immediately we need to point the baker towards the texture file that we want to bake. So if we click on this little icon here and we select from file and we need to tell it what the type of file is. And I know in this case it's a PNG, so portable network graphics, which is the file. And it is this uh, Wasdale Boulder 5. There we are, we'll just pick it from the list. And then I'm gonna add my high definition model, which is my high res model from files again, Boulder 5, open. Now it should be ready to bake. So if I just press start render, might have to wait uh, quite a bit of time for this to bake. So let me fast forward the video here. And there we go. It's uh, baked our texture out. And if I just close this window, uh, we should see our texture now appears in our Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on the graph here. I'm going to delete this uniform color from the base color output. I'm just going to drag in our new map. We're going to plug it in there. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but you can just click on the spanner up here at the top of the screen. Uh, and we can go to export outputs. And this is pretty straightforward from this point. Uh, we only want the base color, so we can uncheck all those. And then we can change the destination that it's going to be saved, uh, the type of format, uh, and what it's called right here. And then we can just press export outputs, uh, export outputs, uh, and then we have our texture.